everyone welcome back once again to career q a place to curate your career in today's video i will be talking about another sister based organization which i think i should have covered long back because it is one of the major organizations however better late than never so here it is the video that has been most requested over the time because this was one of the organizations which had been missing from the channel so the organization that we are going to discuss about is CGI and we'll come to know more about you know what are the different technologies in which CGI works and how CGI functions how much salary you can expect uh what are the different work ethics and work life balance and what are the type of projects you will get what is the growth within the company and a lot more so a lot of informative content is coming up just for you but before we start the video let me tell you that in this channel we discuss all about tech updates software updates and organizational updates if any of these topics are of an interest to you then you might want to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss another video from us and with that being said let's get started okay so the first thing when you are hired as a fresher after getting onboarded will be your training so as in every service based organization here also you will be getting a training however it is a slightly bit different when compared to other service based organizations so the training in cgi is divided into two different parts the first one is called pre onboarding training which is conducted uh, before you know you get your onboarding done and before you are joining in the organization and then there is another training which is known as the post onboarding training which is a live classroom session which will be held after your onboarding has been done so when you are uh, not yet onboarded you will be getting details about your pre onboarding training in this pre onboarding training you will be given some uh, video lectures these can be from multiple online platforms either from coursera udemy or other platforms it can be anything of course not youtube i think uh, but yeah generally it is from some educational platform it is a recorded video uh, course content which will be provided to you and yes a timeline will be provided to you and there will be certain assignments also that you need to complete when you know you are we are talking about the pre onboarding training then your onboarding will take place and then you will be again given a post onboarding training now this will be a live classroom training which can happen within the organization or in you know a third party campus anywhere wherein a live trainer will be appointed and uh, this trainer will come in and teach you every day in between there will be some tests some exams and in the end there will be a live project that you will be doing now how long does this training uh, exist for then this training takes place for about 3 weeks to 2 months or 3 months depending on the domain in which you have been selected so these trainings are particularly domain based and you know whichever domain it is uh, in which you are selected based on that and based on how much uh, for how much time you need to be trained uh, the timeline also depends based on the domain that you have been put into so talking about domain let's talk about the different uh, technologies that uh, cgi has projects on so cgi generally has projects of java dotnet sql and testing so as you can see java is the only uh, you know something that is modern something that is uh, fresh in the market yes of course there are certain projects that are dealing with uh, the newest of the new technologies but we generally don't hear about uh, uh, cgi having some very good projects in and uh, you know having projects which have uh, which are dealing with cloud or which are dealing with sap or which are dealing with salesforce so there are lesser number of projects where dealing with these new technologies that are coming up in the market so we can say that you know uh, there are a bit more legacy projects in cgi and less of the new upcoming projects of course i'm not saying that there are no projects that are there uh, that are dealing with with the modern tech however the percentage is very few and then in that very few percentage in how many projects will freshers be assigned that also drastically reduces so you know 
your chance of working in a, a really upcoming and in demand technology reduces a bit when we are talking about the projects in CGI. However, these legacy softwares are also not going anywhere. So if you are interested and if you want to make a career, CGI can be a very good start. They have very good projects uh, when, you know, these legacy tools and legacy softwares are concerned. They do have uh, long running projects wherein you will get uh, good mentors, good teammates and you can expand your knowledge and horizon. Uh, it is very good if you are interested, but if you are someone who wants to build up your career in something new, then yes, that can be a bit challenging because the number of projects is less. Uh, the next phase that uh, happens in every service based company is that after your training gets completed, you will be put on bench and this bench period can last somewhere in between one month to even six months or seven months. You know, it really depends upon whether the organization is having a vacancy for that technology or the projects really require a person or a complete batch for that particular technology or not. However, what we have seen is that CGI also has a good uh, job work ethic and they also have a good safety job security when we are talking about it because we have not found CGI, you know, really laying off a lot of people and uh, you know, even if you're on bench, it really doesn't uh, hamper or it really doesn't cause that much fear as it causes if you are in some other organization. So, you know, uh, you will be getting your salary and uh, you will be on bench. So in this time, you can enhance your skill set so that, you know, you get selected. Of course, you have to try from your end as well. Uh, so that you get selected in a project but if for some reason you are not getting selected then uh, also this fear that you know you might get laid off because you have not worked in a project that is very less when compared to other organizations so I would say that uh, the job security might not be as great as TCS offers however it is not that bad it doesn't lay off people so often it has a good work ethic and after um, you have been selected in a project again there will be an internal or on project training where you will be uh, you know really taught taught the day in day out work functionalities you might even be kept in uh, as a shadow resource for several months so that is actually a good thing and this is something that even I faced uh, or I followed when I was in Capgemini and uh, if you want to know what actually shadow phase is you can go and check those videos I will put the link in the description and on the screen you know so that uh, you get to know what I'm talking about. Of course, it will be a bit different, but you'll get an experience or you'll get to know what shadow project means and what do you need to work or how you need to work or what is actually the work given when you are considered as a shadow resource within a project. So, you know, you can uh, hear that video, listen to that video and then you'll get a clear picture of what a shadow resource is. But coming back to the point, I want to say that, you know, when you are selected in a project, you will not be bombarded with responsibilities. No, the transition is very smooth. You will be given an internal project training and then you will be kept as a shadow resource. You will be learning how things function within that specific project. And then eventually when uh, you know everyone feels that, OK, now you are responsible and you know enough of how things work within the project, then you will be given your individual responsibilities. So that is how this transition takes place and it is actually a very smooth transition. Uh, now let's come to the work ethic that uh, this organization follows. So CGI actually is considered to be a very ethical company as I've already said before that uh, you know when we consider laying off and firings CGI is not heard that much. Again if we talk about the work ethic then the managers, your teammates, your mentors, your HRs, everyone is approachable, everyone is uh, there is a very high level of professionalism that is followed within the organization, which is very good. Uh, and, you know, it actually helps the well-being of all of the employees. I'm not saying that the work hours will not be long. Yes, if there is a certain requirement that you have to fulfill, then the work hours will be, uh, you know, as per the 
requirement if there's a deadline the workers will be long their your work life balance will of course depend on uh, the workload that is there in the project however uh, the amount of professionalism in which people work people talk or people treat one another that also matters and that is considered to be really good when we are talking about cgi so the next thing of course is the salary and i would like to tell you that salary i will uh, keep for another video uh, in which i will actually cover how much you can expect in your first year second year third year and uh, in that kind of fashion i will consider and i will uh, create a separate video in which i'll discuss all about how you can expect your financial growth in today's video i am just here to give you an overview of what cgi is like and how you can expect your uh you know organizational growth so um coming back there is another thing or and this is one of the cons of joining this organization it is that domain change or inter domain is something that we do not see in cgi so you know if you have been put into testing and you have been trained in testing and you don't like testing okay you have been put into a project that is a testing project then you know it really becomes very difficult to change your domain uh, in other service based organizations we have seen that you can you know change projects if you have completed your 18 months within a project there is a certain timeline that is followed in every organization so uh, yes here also there is a certain timeline that is followed however you know change of domain or you know you'll learn something and then you ask someone that i want to go and i want to pursue uh, or take up a project in this uh, technology then interchanging of domains is something that we do not see here so you know at after some time or at a particular point you'll feel like you're stuck now you're learning something on the background and you want to implement it in your project but the organization doesn't give you much a uh, opportunity much chance or it doesn't offer you uh, a good environment where you can change your domain or change your project uh, according to your interest so you know your growth in that respect becomes a bit retarded so uh, that is one thing that is a cons and if you really want to uh, change your domain or you really want to work in this extra uh, separate domain that you've been uh, you know maybe studying or acquiring your skill on then uh, there's only two options either you go and work uh, uh, in on some side projects or maybe some internship or uh, maybe as a freelancer you can work on that or you need to make a switch to some other organization wherein you uh, take up a job in that particular tool or technology that you have been uh, wanting to work into but you know in the organization it seems a bit difficult and another thing that i find is not that good in cgi is that the work here is a bit repetitive and as i've already said the work is majorly on the legacy tools and legacy tech so you know after a certain time things can get boring and you know less and less challenging so that comes as a hurdle when you are considering your uh, growth as per your knowledge or as per your skill set So that's all that I have for you in today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that I have helped you know a lot about CGI which will actually help you decide whether you want to come to this organization or not. From my point of view, if you see there are some things that is really really good over here. So you know as a fresher you can definitely uh come over and start your career over here. However, after a certain period of time you cannot uh be over here for a long time you know after one year after two years you have to make a switch to move on with your career when it comes to the knowledge level growth or when it comes to the technology level growth uh we'll discuss on the financial level in another video 